Today we're setting up an Everlast Power MTS221 STI. We're setting it up on the MIG function. I want to weld some 14 gauge in an outside corner joint. I have 023 wire on there. I just want to make a real small weld. So we're going to set this up real simple. We're going to default through some menus here. First of all is preflow. I don't want any preflow, so I'm turning that off. The start amperage, I'm going to set it at 85. The next function is the upslope, downslope. I don't want anything there. The amperage, I'm going to set it at 220 inches a minute. The MIG volts, I'm going to set at 17.5. The inductance, I'm going to set at 20%. Burn back, I don't want any. Downslope, I don't want any. MIG TIG downslope, MIG post flow, I don't want anything there. So right now we're set up. So I'm 220 inches a minute. It'll read amperage when I get welding. Let's do a let's do a sample weld. We're gonna try an outside corner joint on some thin 14 gauge. We have just a little bit of gap. I want to try something here. I want to go up in inductance and up in voltage to try to soften that weld up a little bit. So I'm going to increase the inductance to 35. And I'm going to go to 18.0 on the volts, drop the wire speed down to 210, try to make this weld a little rounder. So this is our first test weld down here. It looked a little peaked when I was welding it. This one seemed to be a little hotter or a little wetter. I thought it was rounding up, but now that I look at them, uh, slight change, slight change in the weld pool, essentially the same in penetration. So uh, 023 wire, 14 gauge material, outside corner joint. That'll finish up nicely when we get done. So that's how you set the basic function for MIG welding on the Everlast 221. If you have any other questions, please visit everlastwelders.com.